Hank Burl here with the DailyRock.com backstage at the House of Blues after just seeing a wonderful performance from Demo Borheer. And now I get the privilege of sitting with Demo Borheer's illustrious frontman, Shagrat. Sir? Hello there. How are you? Not too bad. It's a heck of a performance you guys put on tonight. Sorry? Uh, there was a heck of a performance you guys put on tonight. Thank you very much. And what, uh, I mean, how do you guys bring such uh, an energy onto your stage? All the lights, and I mean, there's a heck of a theatrical uh, element to it. Yeah, the theatricals are very important to Dimmu, it's always been. I guess it's like when you kind of slip into the costumes and kind of you transform. It's like a transformation happened at that point when you get getting ready for a show. And uh, sometimes, of course, you feel very tired and lack of energy, but for some wicked reason, they kind of comes back and you know when you are on stage and if, if, if everything goes smooth on stage of course. That's very evident in your stage show. You've got your keyboards, you've got your drums, your guitars. You incorporate a heavy amount of symphonic sounds. Do you think we could ever see Demu with an actual orchestra touring? Not on tour of course because that's going to be way too many people. Yeah. But uh, we are planning to have a one-off show in Norway next year in an outdoor uh, castle. That's still in uh, work in progress. It hasn't been confirmed, but that's something we're working on right now. So with the same orchestra that was also part of the latest album. So uh, that is kind of the next goal to achieve, uh, but this will only be a one-time event. DVD? Possibly. Do you want a DVD out of it? That depends. Yeah. What does it depend on? If the show is good or not, of course. Mm -hmm. Ah. So you'll, would you bring out a crew and shoot in if it's not good, no DVD? That depends. It depends on a lot of things, you know. Okay. Everything from sound to the look and everything. Okay. Black metal. What is black metal to you and Demu Borgir? Uh I don't really categorize Demu Borgir as a pure black metal band. because, And I never really thought we were a pure black metal band. Uh, Black metal for me uh, is bands that I grow up listening to, so to speak. Bands like uh, Venom, Bathory, Celtic Frost. That is true black metal to me. You know? uh, of course, there is a lot of great other bands out there too, which I've done uh, a lot of things. But I think the, ter the term black metal now has been really washed out. So, I mean, who can define what is black metal and not? I mean, we incorporate a bunch of elements in our music, which is not just black metal. We have heavy metal influences. We have trash metal, death metal, you know, uh, classical music. So, yeah, we are not black metal, not pure black metal. Okay. It's interesting to me, with this evening talking with different fans and whatnot to come see the show, it seems as though there's a division between those who are heavy inundated fans and some who have kind of fallen out for different reasons um i mean obviously you can't help that but what i don't understand and i've even probed fans so much as just hours ago saying what is it that made you fall away then and you get these terms saying Hollywood mainstream self, but I couldn't get anyone to define any of these terms. It's near cliche that any time any band would get to some level, these terms get thrown around. Yeah, I mean, it, it, that happens, you know, just like... Uh, I'm also growing up listening to Slayer, and I felt off after Rain and Blood, you know? It's, it's natural, you know? You find other things that you like, and that, it's the way of life, you know? can't uh, blame anybody for that. Of course. You, you lose some, you gain some. You know? Of course. As one on the opposite side of it, um, you know, the target, I mean, obviously, you've read the comments online from the trolls behind the keyboards and whatnot. Mm, I try to stay a little bit away from all the but I mean, critics, because I don't really care about critics anyway. You know, it's to, uh, For me, it's more important to create something that I'm very proud of myself and uh, you know people say oh Storm Loss is the best album or Throne is the best album that's fine with me if they think that you know but as for us it's very important to develop into new directions try out new stuff you know this is like we talked 
we have been around now for almost 18 years. Yeah. And if we were just repeating doing an album like Stormblast, what would be the fucking point to continue playing, man? You know? Gotta yeah, take risks. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I totally respect bands who do that, you know, bands like ACDC or KISS, they couldn't really change too much, that would be a big failure, I guess, but mm -hmm. for us it's, uh, you know, if you hear the first album till the last one, everyone sounds different and that's the way we want it to be like, you know, cool. and uh, yeah, there is no patterns or rules how to follow certain things, you know, we do what we want to do, that's all. And next album will probably be very different again, you know. Look forward to and it. And it just seemed like a lot of people have a lot of, you know, can't really deal with that. But uh, as I said earlier, you know, you lose some, you gain some. Would you say then that it's more about fans fearing change than it is about... Seems like people are afraid of uh, changes, uh, which I think is a shame, you know, because when I listen to music or if I'm a fan, of a certain band and uh, I like to be surprised when I listen to music you know I want to have like a wow experience like oh fuck this is different or this is some you know they're taking the risk to try out something new that's the way I want to you know uh, live through something when I when I discover music you know and that makes sense coming from someone who was influenced by Celtic Frost who yeah, like every musically album. we are not directly taking inspiration from those bands, you know, but uh, as I said earlier, uh, Celtic Frost and Bathory for me are very close to my heart in the mm. way that that is the purity of, of black metal, what you call it, black metal. Yeah. Of course, um, there is a lot of bands like Dark Throne, Satyricon, Emperor Mayhem, uh, which is great bands as well, but uh, just like discussing what is black metal and what is not like I, I don't give a shit about that you know if people want to call us whatever I don't give a shit to be honest with you you know are you content with where you are yeah I'm very happy where we are right what now what makes you happy about your current scenario in life and music no I mean it's uh, I reached uh, a lot more goals in life than I uh, had when I first started out playing uh, ambition when you first started out was more like get together with a group of people you you feel close with and uh, make something great and then kind of ambitions comes later to, to do better things I mean we have uh, several Grammys and uh, gold records and all that stuff and uh, when I look back at all that now of course I'm very proud of what we have done you know? but there is also a lot of sacrifices uh, behind what we do of course you know because it's very it's not like an uh, 8 to 4 job when you get up and come home at 4 and do something else. Music is always in there. Of course. So, uh, a lot of sacrifices along the way, but uh, still worth it, you know? Absolutely. Um, Lastly, other than the one-off show with the symphony, what's next? Uh, Australia and Japan is next for... Uh, for what has been planned right now. Uh, Australia, which we have never been to before. Japan, uh, we've been there in 2001. And uh, New Zealand as well. Cool. That is the next goals to achieve, or whatever you call it. Awesome. <laughs> Looking forward to it very much, it seems. Excuse me? Looking forward to it very much. Yeah, absolutely, of course. Awesome. It's always great to also to have visited the country we haven't been before. So awesome. it's very interesting. Also for the fact that everybody, a lot of people I know who plays in other bands have been there and I say it's really great. So I'm looking forward to going to Australia. Awesome. Well, Sir Grant, thank you very much, sir. Thank it's been you. a pleasure sitting with you. Thank you. Thank you. Hank Pro with the Daily Rock .com. We're out.